Hey, my name is Jobby, and if you haven't subscribed to Young Broken Board yet, you're no son of mine. <laughs> And for those of you who don't know, Young Broken Board is a channel that I'm a huge part of. Usually we talk about movies, games, abortion. The, the, the coat hangers are for <laughs> We actually have an upcoming video called Gundam 101, where me and my good friend Miguel teach you how to build a Gundam model kit. And if you look through my channel, you'll see that the first two parts are already up. Now the original plan was to do a multi-part series which would build up to the review of this model kit. Unfortunately, life gets in the way, school's out, there's too much porn. So check back with Young Broken Board for Gundam 101 Part 3 and 4. And after that, that's it. Fuck it, I'm done. I know it goes without saying, but thanks to Miguel from Young Broken Board for letting me borrow his kit. Alright Miguel, this is directly addressed to you. So just because this is your first Gundam build, doesn't mean I'm gonna go easy on you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wreck your asshole. But I will start off by saying, the painting and the sculpting on this kit is awesome. So Miguel's original intent for this kit was to make it pristine with a nice flat coat. And while the flat coat is nice, the panel lines are far from pristine. What I'm saying is get wrecked, bitch. But a student is only as good as his teacher, fuck me. This may sound like a backhanded compliment, but due to your inexperience with panel lining, you unintentionally created a really nice weathered effect. Even some parts where I know you tried to desperately clean it up, it actually resulted in some really nice shading. The legs in particular. Ooh. Now because this kit was built under my instruction, of course we threw the stickers out the window. The crotch V is painted, and even the eyes are painted. While the eyes turned out very nice, I wish they were a bit more vibrant. But that was more my fault than anything else. Now putting the painting and panel lining aside, the kit itself is fantastic. Sensual proportions, popping colors, and the solidness of the kit is making me rock solid. I don't think my testicles are supposed to be that hard. You can never go wrong with the big G. Now the other big G. That one's too fucking expensive. He's got quite a few accessories. You get two beam sabers, and of course two handles to plug them into. You get a shield that can plug into either of his arms. You get a beam rifle with a missing grip. Where'd it go, Miguel? Did you by any chance put in your ass? I wish. And to get him to hold the rifle, you get this special right hand. Simply put it here, attach that. Plug that in, there you go. And you get a awesomely sized bazooka. The handle conveniently flips out, plug that in. And to make things even more spicy, this guy has some decent weapon storage. Open it up, put his ass, and clip that on. You can store the bazooka on his butt and the shield on his back. Sally can't really put the rifle anywhere. Well, that's fine. Just put in his hand, he has sexy swivel. Ooh, I said the S word. Now, because this is Miguel's kit, I gotta try to restrain myself from being too rough with it. But it's just so... I'll make it through this. Ball joint can look up and down. Ball joint here. Arm moves out. Some upward movement. Bend at the elbow. Ball joint at the wrist, ab crunch. <laughs> skirt moves up, side skirts move out, no butt skirt. Shifting hips, rotate at the legs, hips move out, bend at the knee, up and down at the ankle, ankle guard moves, and a ball joint. I know I said it wouldn't, but it's just. It's just <laughs> I love you, oh, sweet release. This is some of the best fun I had posing a high grade kit. And if you have a high grade stand lying around, even better! Size comparison. Here's the Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Master Grade Zaku, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and the real grade RX 78 2 Gundam. This one's a piece of dang compared to this, but all real grades are shit, fight me. Overall, this figure is awesome. Ah. So if you're not as much of a fan of Miguel's paint job as I am, at least consider that no matter how much you fuck up the paint job, the kit will still look awesome regardless. And as always, consider supporting me on Patreon. Every dollar you contribute gets me one step closer to covering this walking tumor. Hey Miguel, this is this is relevant to uh, what we're gonna do, Gundam 101. Uh, uh, this is dry brushing. All that, like all the like the gray. All, all that it. silver stuff. Right. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. it look weathered, and I'm gonna teach you how to do that tomorrow. So, oh, even better, right there. Look at that. Mm -hmm. and so, that was that was really like good, fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. It got rusted or something. Yeah. Yeah, and we're gonna. <laughs> 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 Excuse me? <laughs>